hello guys this is olushola david and you're welcome to my youtube channel now in today's video i'm going to show you how you can easily buy and sell cryptocurrency on binance using the p2p option now binance is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world because they've made it very easy to deposit fiat currency on the platform so you can just go over to binance deposit your local currency buy any crypto trade with it and when you are done trading you can withdraw your money back to your local currency using the binance p2p option all right so if there's something you like to know how to do i want you to stick around watch this video to the end and if this is your first time visiting the channel please don't forget to like the video if you have any question drop them in the comment section the most especially subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get more videos like this all right so for you to be able to do this successfully the first thing that you want to do is to create a binance account all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the link at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video click the link create an account for yourself if you don't have one already and once you are done creating your account the next thing that you want to do is to verify your account it is very important that you verify your account because without your account verification you won't be able to use the binance p2p option all right so once you are done verifying your account actually to verify your account you're going to need a valid government id so this could be your passport this could be your driver's license so just use any valid government id to verify your account and the next thing you want to do is to log into your account so once you are logged into your account you're going to see something like this so the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here click on more here as you can see more so once you've clicked on more it's going to take you to the next page all right so what you want to do is you want to scroll down then click on p2p here all right so this is p2p so you want to click on p2p so once you click on p2p it's going to take you to the next page where you can deposit on the platform so as you can see now these are the list of people that want to sell on binance so as you can see so from here you can see the list of coin they are willing to sell all right so we have usdt we have busd you have bnb we have eth we have ngn and several others like that all right so what you want to look out for here is you want to look for someone that is having high percentage complete rate all right so scroll if you scroll down you see their percentage rate at the right hand side take for example now this guy is having 81 percent so this is actually low what i'm going to advise is go for anybody that is having around 95 percent to 100 percent all right so take for example the next guy here is having 100% but the total amount of trade he has done is just nine trade all right so what you want to do is just look for anyone that looks good for example now this guy looks good and um, this is one or two trade and is having 100 complete rate but then again there's something you need to look out for again which is the limit all right so looking at the limit here you will see that the limit this guy is having is around 280,000 to 283,000 so this means he's only willing to sell from 280,000 so if you want to buy for example 50,000 and um, what of usdt this guy won't be able to sell to you all right so this is the first option the one i usually use is the one and um, is what we refer to as express all right so for you to do that all you simply need to do is just scroll up then click on click on p2p here all right so once you click on p2p it's going to bring out the option so you can see now this is p2p now this is the normal p2p this is the normal p2p and this is express and block trade so what we're going to be using is p2p and express so once you click on express it's going to bring this page out so here you can just indicate the amount of money you want to buy so if you want to buy in naira all right just enter the amount of coin you want to buy so take for example i want to buy with twenty thousand naira. so i'm just going to enter 20,000 naira. All right, so this is 20,000 naira. But if you want to buy, take for example, you want to buy $20 worth of USDT. All right, so all you simply need to do is just click on click on buy crypto here, buy crypto. All right, so once you click buy crypto, it's going to change it to crypto. All right, so here you can just indicate the dollar amount of coin you want to buy. Take for example, if it's $20. So enter 20 USD here. All right, so you can just do that. So what I'm going to be buying is I'm going to be buying 15,000 naira worth of USDT. So I'm going to choose buy cash and buy crypto here. So I'm going to click on this. All right, so I'm going to enter 15,000 naira. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click buy with zero fee. All right, so I'm going to click buy with zero fee here. 
all right so once you click on it it's going to show you how much of um usdt you are going to receive so this is 26 usdt and 26 usdt is going to cost me fifteen thousand naira. so after that the next thing you want to do is you want to click confirm purchase so, so i'm going to click on confirm purchase all right so it's going to take me to the next page all right so this is the page i'm going to see the person that i'm going to make the payments to all right so what you want to do is you want to click on to payment page now this yellow big button here so once you click on to payment page it's going to bring out the details of the person i'm going to send the money to all right so the name of the person is um fortune and his account number is this and then um, bank name is paycom or op all right so what i'm going to do is i'm quickly going to copy the account number then i'm going to go back to my bank so i'm quickly going to log into my bank i'm going to be making the payment to the person now all right so i'm going to click on the other banks so i'm going to be making a payment of um fifteen thousand naira. so i'm going to choose the bank the bank is op okay paycom okay let me search for op okay this is op all right so i'm going to paste the account number here so yeah so this is the name of the guy fortune uche or so the next thing i want to do is um okay i'm using access bank so it is not compulsory i put the narration so in your home case if it's compulsory you put the narration just to make sure in your narration you are not putting anything that has to do with cryptocurrency because if you do they're going to block the person's account so you don't want them to block the person's account so just come up you can just put your name in the narration all right so i'm going to click on proceed all right so i'm going to click on pay here so i'm going to enter my pin so i just made a payment now so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to binance so i'm going to click on transferred notify the seller so once i click on this yellow button they're going to notify the person that have made the payment all right guys so as you can see the person has released the fund all right so the payment i made has been confirmed all right so the next thing i want to do now is i want to click on done here all right so after that i'm going to click uh, the back button here all right so i'm going to go back to my wallet so i'm going to go back home then i'm going to click on my wallet here so what you want to do is you want to come to funding here because the money is not going to be in your spot wallet it's still going to be in your funding so as you can see now this is usdt so i'm having 26.8 us dollar here all right so what you want to do is you want to click on transfer here all right so you want to click on this transfer big button here all right so once you click on transfer it's going to ask you um from and to so we are transferring the money from our funding wallet to our spot wallet because for you to start trading with the money it has to be in your spot wallet all right so i'm going to choose so i'm going to choose the coin i'm sending it to so currently this is um btc so i'm going to choose usdt from here all right, so i'm going to click on this so i'm going to choose usdt all right so if you don't see usdt in your own case you can just search it here all right so you can just enter usdt so you can see this is usdt so i'm going to click on usdt then i'm going to click on max here i'm going to click on max all right so i'm going to click on i'm going to click on max this is max so i'm going to click on it so once you click on it it's going to bring out all of the money in my funding wallet so i'm going to click on confirm trade all right confirm trade all right so the money has been sent to my spot wallet so i'm going to click on spots so let me click on them um, funding then refresh all right so as you can see i don't have any money here all right so the money has been sent to my spot wallet all right so from spot you can now use the money to trade or buy any coin with the money all right so take for example i deposited with um, usdt and you want to use the usdt to buy another coin on binance so what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on market here so as you can see this is market all right 
so that is market so take for example you want to use the money to invest in take for example probably bnb probably bitcoin probably litecoin all you simply need to do just search for the coin you want to use it to buy so if it's going to be um, bnb so as you can see just enter bnb here all right so this is bnb and currently we have the money in our usdt so it's going to be bnb slash usdt so i'm going to click on um I'm going to click on BNB slash USDT. So once you click on it, you, you will see the buy and sell button. So we want to use our USDT, the money in our USDT to buy BNB. So what you want to click is you want to click on the buy button here. All right. So once you click on the buy button, it's going to ask you to indicate the amount of BNB you want to buy. All right. So as you can see from here, you can indicate the amount of BNB you want to buy. Or indicate the amount of um, USDT you want to buy here all right and currently we have um, like $20 so I'm going to put 20 I'm going to enter $20 here so for $20 they are going to give me 0 0.035 okay so with the charges what is going to cost me what I'm going to receive is a um, 19.5 watt of BNB with the charges all right so after that what you want to do is you want to click on buy bnb so once you click on buy bnb automatically the money in your usdt is going to be converted to bnb so you can now go back to your wallet and check the money here all right so this is my own bnb this is the amount i currently have in my bnb all right so this is basically how you can deposit money on binance then you use it to buy any coin on the platform all right so if you want to withdraw your money back to your local bank account so the same thing you're going to be doing is using the p2p option all right so take for example i want to withdraw the money in my bnb what i'm going to do also is go back to the market then i'm going to click on bnb usdt all right so as you can see here bnb slash usdt so i'm going to click on it so instead of clicking on buy here so instead of clicking on buy what i'm going to click is going to be sell all right, so I'm going to indicate the amount of money I want to sell. So if it's going to be in USDT, I'm going to enter it here, 200. And they are, I'm, so they are going to sell um, 0.356 worth of BNB for me. And I'm going to receive um, 1, 199.5 value in dollar. All right, so this is basically how to do it. So what you want to do next is um, come, back to, come back to your wallet, then click on transfer here. All right, so you're going to be sending the money back to your funding wallet because um to your funding wallet. So from funding wallet, you'll be able to sell the money in your funding wallet in the P2P feature area. All right, so I'm going to click on transfer. All right, so I'm going to be choosing spot to funding. So I'm going to choose the coin I want to buy here. I'm going to choose it here. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin. Then I'm going to search for USDT. US. So this is USDT. All right, so I'm going to click. Um, so let's assume I'm selling um two hundred dollar from my USDT. So I'm going to enter two hundred dollar. All right, so let's let's make it to okay two hundred dollar. So I'm going to go with two hundred dollar. So I'm going to click on confirm transfer here. All right, so the money has been sent to my funding wallet. So if I click on the funding, I'm going to see. So this is what I have in my funding wallet now two hundred dollar. So as you can see here. As you can see here, so this is what I have in my funding wallet. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to click on home here. So you want to click on home here. All right, so once I click on home, it's going to take me to this page. So what you want to do is, like I said earlier, you want to click on more. You want to click on more here. All right, so once you click on more, once you click on more, it's going to take you to the same place. So you're going to scroll down, then click on P2P again. All right, so once you click on P2P, so instead of buying, what you're going to be clicking is going to be sell here, as you can see. So this is sell. So you click on the sell. All right, so I'm going to indicate the amount. I'm going to indicate the amount of USDT I want to sell. So it's going to be $200. So I'm going to enter $200. So after that, I'm going to click sell with zero fee so i'm going to click sell with zero fee all right so this is the bank i want to use so after that i'm going to click confirm sale all right so they've matched me with someone that is going to make the payment for me i can see the notification here so i can see colonies 
okay, Chuku has sent me 110,000. So it means the person has made the payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this confirm receipt here. All right, so I'm going to click confirm receipt. All right, so I'm going to tick this and I'm going to tick confirm. All right, so as you can see now, the transaction is now completed. So I successfully sold $200 USDT and they pay me 110 940,000 in Naira. All right, so this is basically how you can use the Binance P2P to buy and sell cryptocurrency without any hazard. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. All right, so thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.